was an elderly woman who had been depressed for about 40 years and she got suicidally depressed, so she had to be in the hospital. We inhibited the lateral habenula bilaterally and after weeks she became totally well. Her husband told me, literally with tears in his eyes, you've given me back the woman I used to know. That circuit in my mind, undoubtedly mediates depression in humans, and we just have to figure out how to change it. I chose a model that had been developed at the University of Pennsylvania. The model was called Learned Helplessness. You simply register things negatively, and you repeat these negative assumptions. And what we did was add a genetic component to that and it's the study of that model that has led to all of the work that now is giving us new targets for both drugs and for uh, deep brain stimulation. This is getting us very close to understanding at least the molecular basis of some emotion, which will then in turn give us the ability, hopefully, to treat diseases where these circuits go wrong. Funding is essential because it, the new methodologies are very, very expensive. It requires a significant instrumental support and significant uh, personal support. Winning the Colvin Prize is an honor which makes me feel that the direction that we took was a useful one and has been helpful to the field. I think we're going to get better at treating these diseases, better at understanding the brain, and maybe even better at dealing with each other.